ever wonder why Africa is poor? Why the richest continent in natural resources has the poorest people in the world? There is not a way to understand Africa today without knowing a bit of the continent's history. In the 1400s, the Portuguese were the first European country to use African slave labor for sugar plantations of the West Africa's coast. From then on, until the late 1800s, the library trade in Africans will be the primary economic activity for Europe's early globalization. Estimated, more than 11 million people were taken into slavery and sold across the globe. All of Africans' colonial masters left behind completely decimated way of life. The people were forced in colonial schools to loathe everything about themselves, their skin, their languages, their dress, their customs, their religion. After, the supposedly free people were not exactly free. Post-colonial Africa was caught in the middle of the Cold War battle for ideological dominance and then by structural adjustment policies of the World Bank and IMF. Now it's at the mercy of multinational corporations with fat bank accounts which gives them the power often to act above the law or outside the mural maze. In May 2017, a report revealed that the continent loses more money each year than it receives in aid, investment and remittances. More than three times the amount Africa received in aid was taken out mainly by multinational companies deliberately misreporting the value of their imports and exports to avoid taxes. Illegit financial flows, debt, debt servicing, climate change costs, all of these make Africa a net creditor to the world. These are examples of how the global economic information system and trade screw over Africa countries. From unfair property laws to deals that force Africans to open their market to the rich world's production, destroying like this local agriculture and manufacturing. Now, number of countries like Nigeria, South Sudan, Somalia are facing mass hunger on an unimaginable scale because of famine. The worst thing is that famine in Africa is all man-made. There are estimated more than 15 million people at risk of dying in these three countries because of lack of food. In the past, famine in Africa was usually caused by natural disasters or droughts. These current famines are human-made, result of civil war and insurgencies in the three countries. In South Sudan, more than 5 million people, almost half of the country's population, have so limited access to food that they don't know when and where their next meal is coming from. The bottom line is that this famine can turn into the world's worst humanitarian disaster since World War II, while also being entirely preventable by the human race since the beginning of it. And the question remains, why? why? why?